All right, it's time for Foodie Friday. And this morning, we're putting a spotlight on the food scene that you could find at our local breweries. March is Portland's Brewery Dining Month, a time to focus on the perfect pairing of great food and craft beer. Mm. We're joined by Gigantic Brewing's brewmaster, Ben Love. He's got all the details. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Yeah, for me. Glad you're here. Well, I love, you know, there's there's a lot of focus oftentimes on our wonderful craft beer yeah. in, in Oregon, as there should be. But I like that we get to spotlight the food a little bit here totally. too. Yeah. Tell us about what's happening this month. Yeah, so for all of March, there are 10 Portland breweries that are participating in uh, Portland Brewery Dining Month. And for $35, people can come in and get an appetizer, an entree, a dessert, and then a beer. Uh, yeah, for wow. 35 bucks. 35 That's a screaming deal. It's a good yeah. deal. Yeah, and then also, uh, they also have the opportunity, there's a $10 gift card that they can use down the road. Nice, so, nice. Yeah. So when we talk about the food, what are what are some examples of the food? You know, you're with Gigantic. Totally. You know, so what what's a good example of, of the food that uh, people can expect for that price? Yeah, so for us, you know, it's a three course meal. So with that appetizer, there's the options of uh, Japanese fried chicken, mm -hmm. a couple different salad options, uh, chicharrones. Oh my like gosh, yes I do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the entrees, we have a gigantic beef and cheddar that we're doing. Wow. Uh, which came from Sandwich Week, and people loved it. So nice. we had to bring it back mm -hmm. and then uh, we're doing a hawthorn turkey sandwich and a grain bowl for you know people who like to be healthy uh -huh. so I always got to have that yeah that's yeah. great and then of course for our dessert we have uh, Tillamook ice cream so a few options of that <laughs> keeping it local right? uh, this, is, uh, this is quite yeah. the, the decadent dining experience uh -huh. for 35 totally. bucks that's right. great how important is the food menu overall when you're looking at kind of like shaping the the vibe the ethos of your totally. brewery no I mean it definitely plays into it mm -hmm. I know for us at gigantic you know our menu comes from our experiences traveling around the world for beer festivals so you know we do a sandwich that comes from Copenhagen oh, cool. uh, the Japanese fried chicken you know we got that going to Tokyo we uh, we sell beer there and so we, we took some of those recipes back with us Wow and I know a lot, a lot of other breweries are doing similar things as well and so yeah it's you know we're all we're all focused on making great beer and we're all focused on making great food yeah that's really neat I love I love that global take on it mm -hmm. too um, okay we've talked about gigantic what other breweries are, are partaking in this totally yeah so we have uh, backwoods brewing down oh, yeah. in the Pearl and there's uh, Migration Brewing, they have a couple locations. Uh, same with Stormbreaker Brewing. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, Cooper's Hall, or sorry, Cooper's Mountain. Uh, out, in, oh, yeah. Yeah, out in Tigard, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, let's see, Crux Brewing uh -huh. uh, down here in Portland. And then uh, also Von Ebert's. Mm -hmm. They have a couple locations. Uh -huh. And um, let's see, I'm missing so, a couple. Uh, no, but, well, I mean, yeah. but a lot of names that people will, will totally. recognize. Yeah, I'm exactly. sure, yeah. yeah. Some That's great, great local spots with some awesome, you know, tasting rooms, pubs to go in, enjoy the food, enjoy the beer. Mm -hmm. uh, and how, how big of a boost is this for you guys in in March in the spring as as yeah. it's cold and snowy exactly. and just wet outside, totally. you know, to get folks into the door. Yeah, it's very important. And that's that's kind of how it began. You know, mm -hmm. originally there was uh, Portland Dining Month, which mm -hmm. Travel Portland did pre-pandemic. And uh, that didn't come back. And so last year, one of the breweries, Ecliptic, they started Portland Brewery Dining Month. Oh, okay. And and then, uh, yeah, we've continued it going because it was such a successful event. Nice. That's well, awesome. It is. It's, it's great to hear. And, of course, on tap, you have really everything yeah. under the sun. Totally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have 15 beers on tap, all made by us. And, yeah, full range. And all these other breweries are the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a, a full range of flavors to enjoy. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm, I'm noticing a fun-looking can here from Weird Portland United. Right. <laughs> Tell us totally. quickly about your latest release. Yeah, so uh, we're actually, yeah, this is the, the Mill Ends Red. So if you're familiar <laughs> uh, with Mill Ends Park, it's uh -huh. the smallest park just around the corner here. Yeah. And we're actually doing the release event today at noon with the Unipiper. Or noon at 5 p.m. with the Unipiper. Uh, so we're going to be down there at Mill Ends Park. He's going to be piping along. We're going to be celebrating the leprechauns that live there, and then yeah, and then we're going to be uh, uh, parading the world's smallest parade uh, around the corner to Patty's Bar. That's awesome. So, yeah, That's people so are looking fun. for a fun event tonight. Uh, yeah. We'll be down there. We'll be at Millen's at five, and then making our way over to Patty's until and probably, so five, you know, five the p.m. Evening. That's Brewers Noon, right? right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. yeah, That's exactly. a great call. That's so a great way to kick it off. Five p.m. for a fun little parade. Artwork That's Artwork is awesome. super fun too. Yeah. I love that. Well, Ben, thanks so much for being yeah, here. For me. Yeah, and great to see all the fun things happening at Gigantic Brewing, and if you want to check out Gigantic Brewing and some of your other favorite local breweries here for Dining Month, Brewery Dining Month, you can head to GigantecBrewing.com for all the fun happening this March. Well,